Hi, it's my time to shine. I'm going to be doing general readings for certain signs. Um, I just basically had surgery less than seven days ago. And I'm on bed rest for six weeks. So I'm doing a couple things. So I'm like, I might as well just do a couple brief readings um, that I want to do. And go from here. I will not be taking personal readings at this time until November the 1st. I hope everybody had a great end of the summer. Me, mine was in the hospital and in bed like it will be to October, the middle of October for me. As far as doing anything that's too much exciting or driving. My cards is already pre-shuffled, so without any further delay, I will be doing the signs of Aquarius. This will be Aquarius general reading for 2020. You're going to take what resonate and you're going to leave the rest. I'm doing past, present, and future. Universe, spirit guides. Okay. Come straight out. First card that came out for Aquarius for the past position is the Wheel of Fortune. The universe is on your side. The, the wheel is turning in your favor. That's a good card. Very good card. Universe, they, okay, they're just coming out. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, okay. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels. Please tell Aquarius for 2020 what they need to know. Three cards, please. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels. Please tell Aquarius what they need to know for 2020. Two came out. And they both were losers. Okay, the first card my Aquarius is have is the Wheel of Fortune. Basically, the wheel is turning in your favor. That was in your past position. You have the Two of Cups. This could be a partnership, a relationship, or a friendship. You have the Ten of Pentacles for the uh, future. Family, life, everything in order, everything the way you want to have it. You got the Emperor Reverse. You come out of... You coming out of a materialistic situation, or you could just be in an Aries Taurus energy. You have a bonus card that says you are badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. Through this deck, may you find a path to your best self. You also got the hermit, which is Virgo energy. Maybe you have to go within and pray about a situation. You also had an ace of cup reverse. Everything is out for all to see. This is the signs of. Excuse that. That's telling me my wash and my mind should stop. This is the signs of Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Everything is out for all to see. You got the three of swords. Lies, betray, heartbreak. Which is your energy. You have the five of cups. You coming out of something that you lost. You coming out of thinking about something you lost. You got the seven of swords. You coming out of trying to get away with something without somebody seeing you. Basically, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go, I'm going to clarify this three of swords for your future. Wow. Yep. Three, three, three of cups. This could be a, a third party situation. It could be a celebration, but I see it's a third party situation. Three, three of swords, three of cups. Like some lies, portrayal, heartbreak. Let me clarify the three of cups. Universe, spirit, guide, holy angels. Please clarify the three of cups for my Aquarius. That's too many cards. One card, please. Please clarify the three of cups. Oh, 
hate that. And I can't jump up like I used to right now. Because of my foot. <laughs> I had to finish y'all reading, and then I was going to go to closing. Okay, I'm trying to clarify the three of cups. Universe, see. Okay, you got the page of cups and the ace of pentacles. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in your life. Or you could just be in their energy focusing on your pentacles. But some I want to offer you, you something, but it's like a slippery fish. It's really nothing. So basically for my Aquarius, I see that it was third party situations um, in your situation for your future. And they're trying to offer you something, but I don't really think you want that. And the universe is giving you a gift of some type of abundance to move forward from the universe. And that's why you coming out of thinking about something you lost because the universe blessed you. That's what I'm seeing. And the other card that flipped over was the death card, reverse. It says you won't budge even if, even if it's good for you. So something, you still won't budge in a situation. Even It seems like even when the universe gave you an ace of pentacles, you still won't budge. So we're going to clarify that death card. Revert. Okay. Yep, you got the moon card. Something's hidden from you. Some type of deceit. Something slick. We're going to clarify this moon. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please clarify why the moon is here. You got the two of wands. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, you waiting for your ships to come in. And you got everything to make that happen. I'm trying to get this lighting right. So I'm going to see what the universe got to say to you because your future is like a lot going on. Somebody will be playing some games and you're going to find out. The cards that fell out phrase four was forgiveness. You're going to have to forgive. And then patience. You're going to have to learn to have patience. Because that's the only way where you're going to find out what's really going on. I'm going to see what the angel whispers may have to say. Oh, one could they coming out flying for you. Take the time out for yourself. Yep, I just told somebody this is Aquarius. It's time for you to take time for yourself and stop focusing on others and focus about, focus about you. Focus on yourself. And I'm using my rebel cards. Ask a fucking expert. It says, don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. So something that you, you want to know is basically tell you go to a professional. It could be something to do with a relationship. But I see you in a partnership. But in your past, the world turned in your favor. But in your present, you got it reversed. And this is from the universe. You got the Ten of Pentacles, happy life, but it's a lot of third-party shit going on. And even though the universe is giving you an opportunity of abundance, you still won't budge. You still staying in that bullshit. You coming out of thinking about something you lost, but you still ain't budging. And there's some deceit going on with that situation. And you waiting for your ships to come in. And you coming out of trying to get away with something or somebody else. So, your reading is like really bottom line. Like, it's going to be some third party shit going on. And you got to get out of that bullshit. And the way it's showing is like you you going to be stuck there. And that's crazy. I'm going to take a love oracle and I'm going to just move forward in your reading because it came out fast. And I'll never have fast. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please tell Aquarius what they need to know for 2020 regarding their love. That's too many cards. One card, please. I see that. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. So you might have already met somebody that could be your love. It might not be the person you with, but you already met them. And that's how that go. So without further ado... This is the Aquarius reading for 2020. Have everybody have a nice, um, safe autumn.